In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Apollo IO to find leads, qualify them and eventually close them. Now, this is one of the most easiest and simple to use softwares out there. So I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to show you some cool features. I'm going to show you how you can work with AI and I'm going to give you my own custom email template that we're going to use for this video. So if you want to follow along with this video, make sure to click the link in the description down below. You can get started with a free trial and later on you can actually upgrade to a pro plan which will cost you around $50 a month but more on that later. So once you're logged in it's going to ask you a few things. It's going to ask you to connect your email. I would immediately do this step like connect your brand domain. This way you can send emails from your brand domain. Uh, I've already done that so I can skip that part but if you want to get started out do this immediately. So straight off the bat once you're logged in this is the dashboard that you will see. You can walk through the setup guide. I've just created a new account to show you how this works, um, but don't get overwhelmed with all of these features. So there are a bunch of features out there, but we're really gonna zoom in on like two or three of these features, which you are gonna use the most. So before we start finding our leads, it's actually more important to have a good email sequence set up. So once you've found your leads, you can immediately start the process. So in this video, we're gonna start with creating an email sequence, then finding the leads and then fine tuning all of that and combining it and creating our own campaign. So to create a new sequence, we go to engage sequences and then we can click on new sequence. Now this gives you three options, the pre-formatted, the clone and from scratch. Uh, the pre-format looks like this. Here you can use formats that's already created by Apollo. If you have no idea how to create one, you can get started with these pre-built templates. Um, they're actually pretty good, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how we can build our own template. So we're gonna start from scratch and now we can give it a name. I'm just gonna name it Marketing Agency Leads and you can play around with the opening hours. Um, I'm just gonna use these normal business hours. You can also do an hour before that, hour after that whatever you prefer. So now we can get started with our workflow. To get started, we click on add a step and now we have a few options that we can choose from. We can have an automatic email, a manual email, a phone call, action item, and there's also LinkedIn integration in this. And this is very useful to have and that's why Apollo is such a great tool because it has so many integrations in there that it's not just like a way to find leads, but you can also directly send messages through LinkedIn, through your email, to your leads. So that's a great feature to have. For this, I'm gonna go with the automatic email and I'm gonna show you how to work with the AI later. But first we're gonna do it ourselves. So I'm gonna put this on like two hours because I want to have a bit of delay. So in case like something happens or I want to cancel it or make changes, then I still have the time to do it before it goes live. So I'm gonna hit on continue. So I have a few steps that's personalized introduction, risk reversal, social proof, call to action, additional assets of resources, another call to action and your signature. I already have my signature in there, so I'm not gonna cover that, but let's start with the personalized introduction. This is generally what they will preview in the text. These are generally the first few sentences that they will read. So here you have to write something personal, something like, hey, um, this might be interesting for your business or hey, uh, can we talk about this great opportunity that I have for you? You can try to come up with something personal for your lead. Um, I also have added like their name. You can also add their company name and you can put that in there. Then I have the risk reversal. If you have a risk reversal in your email, then they know they have nothing to lose. If you offer them like money, like for example, you can say something like, I'm gonna send you hundred dollars if I waste your time, or I'm so confident that my solution works that I offer it with a money back guarantee. You can do these type of things within your proposal. And then we have the social proof. Here you can enter in a case study, here you can enter in some reviews or anything like a success story from your clients. After that, we have the call to action and the call to action can be something like book your appointment right now or click the link to sign up, something like that. Then you can enter in some additional resources like, hey, I have this guideline for you or hey, I have this bonus material or in my case, I'm like a content marketing agency, like, hey, I have this tutorial for you on how you can record better videos. Those type of things, they are additional extras. You can put them in there or you can leave them out. Make sure to repeat your call to action after that as well. Otherwise they have to scroll up and now it's in the bottom as well. So you have two places for your call to action and then you end it off with your signature. That should include like your name, your company, your contact information, all those kind of things. So this is what your email might look like. Hey, 
Here you put the name of your lead, got something exciting to share with you. I help people to get you with X without Z. Uh, and if it doesn't work for you, I will refund your money. Many people already have benefits from my services. Here are some testimonials. Then you insert testimonials right there. Are you ready to take the next step? Click the link below. Or you can say like, do you want to discuss more? Book a call here through my Calendly. Something like that works as well. And then as a bonus, here's a free ebook. You can enter in your free ebook or you can leave out this step and then you can have like another call to action right here. Or if you don't put this part in, I would remove this call to action as well. And then lastly, you ended off with best regards, your name, your phone number, your email address, and you can also put your company name in there. Um, of course, you can customize this. And I've done like a customization in here that I will be using for this video. So I've created one for a marketing HD. And of course, this is a bit more of a customized message. So here I have a customized email message. I've created this actually with ChatGPT. So I've used all of this information above and I've entered in all of the information of like a, an example marketing business then I've entered it in ChatGPT. I ask it like use this template to create a template for my marketing agency and then it spits out like the answer right here and that's this is the answer that we have so it is a bit more custom it has like these reviews in there and I'm gonna use this for this example video so let me just copy it I'm gonna leave out the best regards right here so now you can see what our example email will look like and now it's time to replace some things for example this tag right here it needs to be replaced with first name of the dynamic variable and I'm gonna remove this. So now we have high example. I've got something exciting to offer you. Now, if you mention their name, you can also add like variables uh, like their company name or their domain name or the email, anything like that. So if you use these kind of variables, make sure to add them right here. And then also make sure to add your calendar link or your call to action link. It ends with best regards. You can include your signature, which I have right here. So if you have your own signature, you can always choose to exclude it. For example, right now it's included. And if you don't want to include it, then you uncheck this button. And now you can just write like your own name or any information that you'd like to add. Um, so I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Now all we need is a subject line. I already have one right here. So you can try to make it interesting as a subject line. Like for example, this might be interesting for and then I'm gonna add a variable for the company name and now it's gonna look like hey this might be interesting for Google for example so you can also choose a contact to see how it looks like uh, I don't have any contacts in this account so I'm not gonna do that but you can also send a test email to yourself which I do recommend before you send it to the client because which I do recommend before you send it to your leads because if anything goes wrong within your template, then you want to fix that before you send it. So let's save it right there. And now we have our first email. Now I want to add another step. If they don't respond, then you want to send like a follow-up. So let me show you how you can create a follow-up email. We're just gonna create another step. Then we do another automatic email and we're gonna wait like three days or in this case, I'm gonna wait, let's say seven days. I'm gonna hit continue. And now we repeat the same process for our follow-up email. I already have that one written out right here. So I already have that written out right here. I want to have like a short follow-up. I don't like those long emails like, hey, have you seen my previous mail or anything like that? Because they probably have seen it and they chose not to respond. So I'm just gonna make it more interesting to them. So in this case, I'm gonna go with, hey, for this client, we've added 20 more customers within 20 days or like 30 days. Are you curious to find out how? Book a call with me here and then I'm gonna enter in my Calendly link. Um, PS, I'm so confident that my solution works. I offer a money back guarantee if it doesn't. So this is the structure that I use. It's basically like create something out of curiosity, then have a call to action in there and then have something like that it is risk proof. So I'm gonna have like a money back guarantee if it doesn't work, um, which make them have nothing to lose. And then I'm gonna copy it over. I'm gonna exclude my signature for this. And I just want to start off with the subject name. So with the subject name is first name. For this client, we've created thanks down. So this is a really short email. And the way that I tested it, this works best for my business. But make sure to A-B test these kind of follow-ups. Make sure to A-B test all of your emails and play around with it and make it more custom to your own business. Don't just blindly follow up on my email sequence but this is how we're gonna use it right now. So I'm gonna click on save. And now we have the second email that will be sent on day eight. And then we can add like another step. We're gonna do the same. And let me just quickly do that after like five days. 
and let me just copy it in there because I already have it. So here in our third email, we have kind of like the same structure. Now I have like a free offer and then I have a call to action and that's it. So like a free trial, then a call to action, that's it. And as I saw right now, I forgot to add a subject to the previous email. So let me just add it right now. So for this one, I'm gonna do like their first name and then I'm gonna show them, trust me, this will be worth opening. Um, this will make them more curious and they will open the email this way. So for the other one, I'm gonna go with, we've added 20 customers in 30 days for this client, want to find out how. And this might also make them more curious about how we've done this. Now we have three emails that we can use for our sequence. If you want to get started with this, then make sure to click inactive button. This will activate your sequence and then you can get started with using it. If it's turned off, then your sequence doesn't work. So make always sure to activate it if you want to send your emails. Before we move on, I quickly want to demonstrate the AI feature that it has to offer. So here you can enter in like your company details, what you offer, the pain points, the value proposition, the call to action and other contacts to include. And then it will generate an email for you. Let me quickly fill this in and let's look at the results. Okay, so I've now filled in all the details and we can click on generate. Now it gives us a few options that we can choose from. For example, the first sub line is boost your content sales with short term socials. And the other one is save time and boost your sales. To be honest, I think those are pretty basic. I wouldn't really go for their subject line. I would write one myself, but for the sake of it, let's just go with this one. If you don't like what you see, then you can click on the refresh button and now it will create a new one. If you like it or dislike it, then you can put the thumbs down or thumbs up. And then Apollo will know if it was a good recommendation or not. So I'm just going to go with the first one. Now it has written this part and I think this looks pretty good. Based on the information that I've given it, I've written an email that says, Hey, first name, I've noticed that as the title at the company, you're probably swamped with editing content. Short then my company name can help. Then it points out the pain point and how it solves this pain point. And then it has like a call to action in the end. To be honest, I think this is a pretty good email. Then we have the second option as well, but I don't like the way that it has written this. So I'm just gonna go with this one. And now we have like an AI written email. Now that our email sequence is complete, we can turn it on and now we can get started with finding our leads. So to do this, you go to search, you click on people. And now we have a few options to find our leads. We have some filters in there like lists, persona, name, uh, management level, location, company, all of these things. So I'm going to give you a few options how you can find the best leads possible. Um, I also want to advise you to narrow it down as much as possible. For example, if you have like a pro plan, then you can send like unlimited amount of leads. But if you have the free plan, then you can only send like 25 emails per time. So the first option that you have is to create a persona. You can use AI for this. And what it will be asking is like your company name, your product or services, your company description. So what Apollo has done right now, it has taken this information from my website. If you want to customize it, then you click on edit and then you can customize it. But right now it's referring me to marketing specialists, business coaches, and educational institutions, which isn't really the personas that I'm going for. I'm not gonna go for like a marketing specialist if I offer them marketing services. So a business coach might work, but an educational institution, I don't work with those. So I'm just gonna find leads another way. In my opinion, the best way to get started with finding your leads is to get started with job titles. Then once you're at job titles, you click on the management level. And over here, you can select all the people that are in charge of making decisions. So someone that will make decisions is an owner, a founder, a C-suite partner, and a vice president. So I'm just gonna go with these filters. Then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the amount of employees. I mainly work with small businesses because small business outsource the most tasks. Like if you have a company that has like 50 employees, then they probably have their own like HR department, their own marketing department, their own finance department, their own IT apartment like that's why I choose like one to ten people because most of the time these people can use my services for example outsourcing their work to a marketing team might be a good option for them so I'm just gonna go with one to ten and now we have narrowed down our audience already then you can go with location I mainly focus on businesses in the United States but also on the UK and also like Australia so mainly Western English speaking countries so now the next thing I do is I enter in the industry 
and for this i want to focus on like real estate so now we click on real estate and now we're narrowed down to like 86,000 people already another feature you want to turn on that apollo offers is the email status so sometimes it doesn't know if the email is verified or sometimes it's guessed sometimes it is user managed so i'm just gonna go with verified and guessed this way i only have like verified emails and sometimes maybe i have like a hit or a miss um, but now that brings us down to like 43,000 people now we've gone from million potential leads to like 43,000 of them and you can even narrow it down even more to specific types of locations but let me show you what's the next step if you want to select all of these leads to your email sequence then you can click on this box and that will select all of them if you have the premium plan so if you want to have that then you need to upgrade to the premium plan otherwise you can just send it to like 25 people but for this let me just show it to you and i'm just going to go with two people now i'm going to hit email sequence and i'm going to add them to an existing sequence that i've already created this will be the marketing agency leads now i've added them to the sequence that we've just created uh, you can auto assign an email if you have added more emails then you can select them right here and also what you must do on all of your emails is you have to turn off this box so if your prospects can be found then they don't send the email. So you only send it to verified emails and this will also save you some money if you have the pro plan. Once you're happy, you click on save and now your email sequence will get started. So this is pretty much how you can get started with Apollo IO. It has some other features like this control center where you can view your dashboard and see how you're doing with your emails. Um, obviously I don't have any data in this new account but you also have some other tools, but mainly I would focus on these tools of finding leads and sending emails. So I hope this helped you out. If you want to get started yourself, click the link in the description down below, and I'm hoping to see you in the next video.